Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Sela. Don Baker has the night off. New at six, we are hearing from state lawmakers after a judge's ruling overturned Georgia's abortion ban for now. The ban made abortion illegal for most cases once a heartbeat is detected. That can be as early as six weeks into a pregnancy. The Fulton County Superior Judge said in his ruling the law was unconstitutional when it was passed back in 2019. Now the state attorney general's office says they plan to appeal. Our Camille Syed spoke with state representatives about the judge's decision. She joins us now in the studio with more on what they had to say. Yeah, Mike, as you said, I spoke to local state representatives on both sides of the aisle. As you can imagine, some Democrats are relieved by the overturning of the abortion ban. Republicans aren't happy on the other hand. Republican Representative Bill Hitchens says he doesn't think they'll be writing up a new abortion ban law with similar wording anytime soon. I think we all want to know, have some concept of where we stand or where the law is going to stand before we uh, before we try and start rewriting laws. The attorney general office is planning to appeal the overturning of the law that makes it illegal to have an abortion after a fetal heartbeat is detected. But the appeal has to be heard by a state Supreme Court and there's no timeline on how long that could take. Lawmaker Bill Hitchens representing the city of Rinkin in the House voted for the heartbeat bill or HB 481 in 2019. He says he has a law enforcement background and doesn't think getting an abortion should be legal. Anytime we had a, uh, a pregnant woman who was who lost her life as a result of somebody's fault, whether it be murder, voluntary manslaughter, it's murder in one case and uh, or homicide, and then it's uh, it's legal in another. It, it, it doesn't make sense to me. State Representative Edna Jackson representing Savannah was not in office during the vote in 2019, but would vote if there is another law similar to the heartbeat bill written up. She says she's happy to hear about the overturning of the bill, but the fight for women's rights continues. It doesn't end because it will surface again, but we have to continue not only the journey, the fight, because nobody has a right to decide what is going to happen to our bodies. So only thing I can say is be encouraged and continue to do what we have been doing all year long. If lawmakers were to draft up a similar bill banning abortions after a heartbeat is detected, political science experts say the House would need 91 majority votes and the Senate would need 29 to pass it. When the heartbeat bill or HB 481 passed in 2019, it was by a very narrow majority, making the future of, for women looking to get an abortion in Georgia uncertain. Mike. Well, WTMC has covered this extensively. To take a look at all the